Hey guys, it's Ollie from the Java Hub, and this is going to be your 16th beginner's Java tutorial, and it's going to be how to create, how to make Java create a file and then write stuff to it. And this is going to be a continuation of my last one, so if you haven't seen that, go and watch it. And also, it's going to be we're going to be using stuff that I did in my tutorial, basic user input or something like that. It's in the Java Absolute Beginners playlist, so go check that out. And what we're going to be doing is getting the user's name and age, and then we're going to be writing it to a file. And I'm going to show you how to do that from start to finish, and we're also going to be learning about something called the try and catch block. So first things first, we're going to create a, some variables, and they're both going to be strings, and they're going to be called name and age. And the reason we don't do age as an integer is because it creates some funny characters when we try and write it to our file so let's just keep them as strings doesn't really make much of a difference so now we're gonna say make a new scanner object scanner and we'll import that scanner and this is going to be for user input and it's equal to a new scanner and we want to scan if I can put my brackets um, scanner system dot in and now that we can handle user input we're ready to make some prompts system out dot print line and we're just gonna say what is your name and then we're gonna say name is equal to input which is our scanner object and then dot next and that's the next thing that the user types we're then gonna say system out print line and the reason I'm rushing through this is because we've done this previously uh, what or and how old are you comma and then plus name and then name or rather age is equal to input dot next and that gets the next thing they type so now that we've done this we can write to our file and to do this we're going to need to create a try and catch block and I'm going to show you what it looks like first then I'm going to explain why and to try look we just write try and then open a block and at the end of it we write catch and with some parentheses and then we open a block and as a parameter we say what do we want to catch and we want to catch any exceptions or errors and that's going to be called exception e and let me just show you how to do one more thing then we'll then I'll explain it again we're going to print out if there are any errors we're going to say system dot error dot print dang it can't spell today print line and then we're going to print e dot get message and that gets the error message so now I'll explain what the try and catch block do is basically if there is something you need to do which could cause unhandled exceptions you need to put them in a try and catch block and the reason is Java won't just run it no matter what it's going to try it first and it's kind of like a mini compiler within the compiler well it's not really but that's just kind of analogy for you. It's kind of like a mini error catcher within your compiler. It's going to try this and catch it, catch any errors if there are any errors, and we need to do this for this little project because we could have an error such as the file not being found or it was unable to write the file because maybe there's it's a protected location or something like that. But all we're going to need to write the file is two objects one of them is a file writer which creates the file and the other one is a buffered writer which writes content to the file so we'll just jump right into it we'll make a file writer object and we'll import it and this is going to be called fw and it's equal to a new file writer writer and as a parameter what where do we want to write the file we're going to do it to the desktop so c slash users slash oliver slash desktop and we'll call it say details dot text and now we can create our second object which is a buffered writer and that is buffered writer and we're gonna call this object after we import it we're gonna call it out so we're kind of just saying like output this to the file and then that is equal to a new buffered writer there we go and as a parameter what do we want to buffered write I guess I don't really know the past tense 
but we want to say uh, we want to buffer our file writer, which is FW, and that is simple as. And it's just occurred to me that you guys are probably quite beginners, and if this doesn't make sense to you, I'm going to break it down to the very basics. We're creating an object of something called a file writer, and this is a built-in Java class which which creates files, and we simply create a new object of it, and as the parameter, we say where where and what do you want the file to be, and that is that is taken as a string. And then we've created something called a buffered writer, and it's got a fancy name, but it's basically all it does is write text and content to the file. And we've named this out, and you'll see why in a second. And as a parameter, it takes where do you want to write this stuff, where do you want to write the content to, I guess, and that is FW, which is our file writer. So it's going to create the file, then it's going to write stuff to it after we tell it to. And we're going to tell it to do that now. We can say out, which is our buffered writer object, and then we can say dot write, and this is going to write stuff to it. And we'll first of all write a string saying name, and then we'll put a colon and a space, and below it you can say out dot write, and write is a built in method, and then we'll write our name string. So, really simple out, we've accessed our buffered writer object, and then we've accessed the built in method of the buffered writer, which is write, and first of all, we, we've written the string name and then we've added the name that the user entered just earlier and then we'll do the exact same for the age out.write and we'll call it say age and then out.write and then age there we go so we've written the string name printed out the name we've written the string age printed out the age and actually we're going to put a new line between this and to do this we access our buffered writer and say new line and that's pretty simple as well and the last thing we need to do is close our buffered writer because we don't want it to be sort of open and active forever so we say out.close uh, oh my goodness close there we go now that is pretty much it guys for our code I'll show you I'll show you it in action in a second but let me explain one more time this is pretty self-explanatory we've created a string called name and age made a scanner object and told the user prompted the user to enter their name and age and then in our try and catch block again the reason we use this is because we need to catch any errors such as file writing errors and we've just printed the message that there is we've then created a new file we've then created a new file by making our file writer object and then it creates this file here and we've made a new buffered writer which writes content to our file and as a parameter we put what file which is our file writer object which is fw and then all of this here is just what we are writing to the file and that's we've said name and then the name and we've done a new line we've said age and then the age and then we've closed it and if there are any errors which there won't be in this little project but if there were errors it would catch them and now I'm going to run this and show you it work so hit run it says, what is your name? Ollie, how old are you? 16. And watch when I hit enter. Watch over here. It's going to make the new file. Ah, right. That's embarrassing. I spelt desktop wrong. It should be... Let me bring this over here. Desk with a K. That was embarrassing. Anyways, let's try this again. Ollie and 16 and as you can see details it's just created a brand new file over here we can double click on it and as you can clearly see it's done exactly what we intended it to do and that is create the file and then write the content to it so that is pretty much it for this tutorial guys I'm nearly nearly at the 10 minute limit so uh, please subscribe uh, head over to the forums create an account there ask any questions there you may have also just ask any questions in the comments uh, thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please message me or comment if there's anything confusing you, and anyway.